Hey there, fellas. Finally, the day has come. So right here we have that Lada engine that used to run on gasoline but was converted into a diesel. And over here we have a car that doesn't drive. I've also got me... A turbo, yeah, we've decided to fit a turbo. So let's throw all of this together, try it out, drive around, see how it performs. I am super curious, so... Enough talk, let's do this. Gasoline engine converted to diesel, first drive. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So here's where we're at with this. Fitting a Lada engine to a Lada was simple enough. Now to make this into a turbo engine, we fitted a turbo, which is fairly compact, but it does pack quite a punch. We've already primed the whole thing with diesel fuel, and now let's try firing it up. Check how the turbo is doing its thing. Oh, there we go. Now, last time we tried starting it with the help of this. Let's try that again. Give it some gas. Doesn't want to run cold. All right, one more time. Give it some gas. Yeah, I think you can tell how the turbo is functioning. Enough. Okay, so it's gotten fairly warm. It's not taking as long to get everything working. You would have seen the turbo generating a lot of wind. It was blowing really hard. Now we just need to do the plumbing. Let's get back to work. Okay, guys, we've made it out to the test track, we're looking good. We've already done a bit of fine-tuning. Now, we did run into a slight issue. The high-pressure pump is chain-driven on this, and at a certain point we realized that we could really use an adjustable pulley. That would allow dialing things in more precisely. And so we fitted one, did some fine-tuning, and yeah, now this runs pretty well with how we positioned it. Now it's all a matter of starting the engine and putting it through its paces. We'll see how it performs, how it behaves, and so on. Now the thing about this diesel is that, well, we are not running glow plugs on this. Which is not ideal, because there's not going to be any additional heating for the air. If we had that, we would have been in a better situation, but we don't. We decided not to set anything like that up, and instead we're using this simple solution. Because this starts very well on hot air. And on top of that, we're also using some quick start fluid. To make things that extra a bit easier. It is a small can, but I think it should be enough. Okay, let's start it. And allow it to warm up because diesels typically aren't happy running cold. But this has to be fired up, warmed up, and at that point the testing begins. All right. Excellent. I did say it's happy to start, though I can't see anything now because of the smoke. But all right. Okay, now we let it run, get nice and warm. 
Look at that, it actually runs fairly smoothly even. And it was stable. Come on. It should fire up without any help now. Excellent. It's not emitting that diesel rumble, though. What's really interesting is that it idles, well, fine. It is a bit shaky, but this was converted into a diesel after all. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to hear that little whistling noise. The turbo emits a pretty pleasant sound. Just like a tractor. Now it's time for me to get behind the wheel, throw the box into gear and get moving. Load the engine up, help it get warm quicker and see how it performs. Let's get to it. Okay, the engine has gotten warm, and the throttle response is now adequate. But then that's how a diesel should work. We're all right, it seems like... everything is fine with... combustion. Oh, right, I totally forgot we were running that type of clutch. I thought I'd be able to set off smoother, but no. There it is, the diesel sort of rattly noise. I don't know if you can hear it, it's pretty confident to move along. Look at that. Isn't that something? We've got some good sound deadening in this car. You really can't hear a lot inside of it. This is quite a lot of fun. It drives. I can even hear the turbo whistling. Accelerating without much... urgency, but with plenty of confidence. Look at that. This works and the car drives. Very nice. Let's put some more heat into it. Diesels do take a while to warm up. Now, this isn't as peppy as a turbocharged gasoline engine. However... You can still move around with much aplomb. It's very happy to accelerate. And what's interesting is that... At 50 kilometers an hour... I can throw the box into fourth... And it just goes. You punch it... And the thing just accelerates. The car goes. Let me try that again. That was even less than 50. And this is quite happy to accelerate. You won't get that with a gasoline engine. It's gonna hesitate. 
in this sort of situation, because it wouldn't be high enough in the rev range. I know where the starting line is. I can see how much speed I can pick up. We've ran Ladas across this lot a number of times. And on a gasoline engine, I'm usually going 80 Ks by the end of it. Now let's see what this diesel can do. Here goes nothing. Sixty. Seventy. Come on, brake. Seventy. Okay. I see. Seventy it is then. Let me try one more time. It's a diesel, what else do you expect? I mean, yeah. We do have a bit of boost. But it's really only a tiny bit. Now it is a fairly small turbo, but I thought it'd be more than up to the task. That it'd even be more than we need. But apparently we could have gone with something bigger. Because that is not a whole lot of boost. Let's see. I mean, it is doing something, which is quite nice. The engine doesn't have to pull in air unassisted. The turbo is providing some assistance, and that is terrific. Yeah, 70. Won't go any faster than 70. That was a very positive experience, honest to God. You see, the thing is that I had a feeling, or I was expecting, that something might go wrong. And that the engine would be somewhat erratic, I don't know. Like there would be torque dips and overall it'd just operate piss poorly. But that was not the case at all. It actually drove beautifully. It's actually got usable torque, I mean... I mean, it's not producing 150 horsepower by any means, but it does feel like it's putting out all 70, or maybe not 70, but closer to 60. Yeah, I'd say with 107% certainty that all 60 horses are accounted for. Yeah, let's cut off that damn resonator. Metal shavings and all of that. That's the way to go. No. Okay then. That didn't bring the boost up even a tiny bit. Yeah, no sweat. Point five. Before I knew it, I was carrying some serious speed. Oh my, what happened? The radiator is spitting out a lot of water. Must have overheated it. We don't have a temperature sensor. Eh, no worries, I guess. So check this out, guys. We did, of course, have our doubts. The reason being that this engine was designed to run on gasoline from the onset. 
But we went ahead and bored everything out, done a bit of machining, did a bunch of rings to crank up the compression, installed a high-pressure fuel pump, fitted some injectors, started it, got it to run, and we were so happy to see that happen. And now it even drives. It drives very well with this particular setup. It's got some pretty impressive low-end torque. This was a normal gasoline engine. We didn't do any sort of crazy modifications to it. In that the piston stroke is the same. However, the low-end torque was still pretty amazing. I love how it pulls. You can get into third at low speed and away you go. You've got that diesel rumble, so everything seems to be where it should. This was a really neat one. This is 107% a diesel engine. We were seeing as much as 0.5 bar of boost. And the interesting thing is that at low revs, at low speeds you can go into a relatively high gear, like shift from second to third, which is something you definitely wouldn't do with a gas engine. At that point you hit the gas, and with this being a diesel, it accelerates. And believe it or not, you can literally feel the turbo kick in. You immediately get a sort of push, you pass the boost threshold and off you go. Now that was super cool. And so this worked beautifully. We didn't even break anything. The car was happy to drive. This was awesome. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, comment, send in your suggestions pertaining to what else we can do with this. Give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.